Necromancy has been reigning as the king of combat styles in RuneScape for the last 9-10 to 10 months. But that changed when we got the combat beta update put into the main game. Or did it? Did it change? Has it changed things? And what is actually the reality of the combat styles? Everyone knows that if you want easy and fast damage, you can still use Necromancy right now, even after nerf, and you will still get consistent damage, and it's good damage. And it's just so laid back compared to the other styles, because there is zero switch scape involved. For me, I'm getting bored of necromancy now. I've been bored of necromancy and it's time to do something else. Like I have been, I've been using the other combat styles. I've been having a good time and I'm gonna continue to use the other combat styles. Now, are you in the same position? Are you struggling with using necromancy over and over and over again? Well, let's talk about the other combat styles and see if my noob brain is able to help you at least a little tiny bit with the other combat styles. Now, obviously, using other combat styles is quite the bit more expensive than necromancy. Over the lifespan of necromancy, best in slot gear has been roughly two to three billion GP. Now, if we look at any other combat style, that number significantly rises. Best in slot ranged is around around 10 billion if not more right now. Melee is around 4 to 5 billion and Mage is also probably around 4 to 5 billion. Obviously, they're significant increases in comparison to Necromancy. While neither of them are what you would call cheap and easy to get, the difference is you kind of need best in slot with the other combat styles to output strong, consistent, good damage. Whereas in my opinion, you do not need the absolute best in slot items to do that with necromancy. You can use tier 80, tier 90 necromancy gear and output very consistent strong damage. Whereas with mage, you kind of need the higher level stuff to do that. And I'm sure everyone else would agree that you need kind of best in slot range gear as well to be able to do that. Same as melee. So obviously there's a very big difference there and that kind of is what it is. Now obviously the other thing about using the other combat styles, you don't only need to buy the best in slot gear for them you also require abilities which also cost gp or obviously you could grind for them yourself but it is going to take a substantial amount of time to do so now learning these other combat styles is definitely harder than necromancy and i feel like some people do not remember that there's a group of people including myself who have learned to pvm with necromancy so switching over and using these newer combat styles is actually quite hard at first due to the fact we're so used to this simple press a few buttons and it's done but that isn't the case with the other combat styles because you need to switch weapons you will probably have multiple eofs for various combat styles obviously you're going to be making sure that your time and abilities are on time but i think a big thing to mention is like with mage i have to make sure that i'm smoke clouding i have to make sure that i'm switching to my fsoa getting the spec off as quickly as possible and then getting straight back to my dual wields there's other situations where you're getting off a tsunami just in time or you're trying to build the stacks quickly so you can get off the tsunami as fast as you can obviously i know that you build stacks with ranged and death spores and you want to basically pre-build those before you even go into a fight so there's a lot to learn i feel like with the other combat styles but I think it's worth doing. If you're having a good time, you should absolutely be going for the other combat styles. If you have a favorite combat style, even if people are telling you, why are you even using that? Because necromancy is just better. That isn't the answer. If you want to have fun and use a different combat style, you should absolutely give the other combat styles a try if that's what you want. If it isn't what you want, then stay with necromancy. There's nothing wrong with it. You're still going to get crazy damage. But if you are bored of necromancy, I recommend for you to look into the other combat styles. If you already know that there's a combat style that you think you're going to enjoy because you used it maybe briefly without experience before necromancy go try out that combat style again put a bit of work into a rotation and see if you enjoy it because you never know you might do so obviously the way that you use combat in this game is rotations so let's talk about the major rotation so you're going to start off with a sunshine and a dren pot then you're going to build up to your tsunami with your five stacks then you're instantly going to want to switch to your FSOA spec. Then you want to get a G conk out. Then I'd say use Limitless and Tendrils. Then again, you want a G conk, Wild Magic, Asphyxiate. And as soon as it's ready, G conk to cancel. Then what you could do is use your Omni Power now and G conk again. 
And then obviously you could spec here, maybe G staff, ABS, even get a second out if you want. You kind of meant to be able to get two Xfixiates and two Wild Magics, but I haven't been able to get that down yet. But that is the advice that I have been given, so I feel it's necessary to share that with you. So that's Mage that we've talked about. Now going into the other combat styles, it's a little bit harder for me to talk about those. And that's simply due to the fact that I just haven't used them as much. And even though I have been practicing, I am not going to be showing a rotation for ranged or melee today. And I want to say for the final little thing here, the PVME Discord is by far the place to go. I still struggle trying to navigate around this Discord sometimes because there's so many things in there, but there is a PVM help channel, which I found out about the other day. And there's a lot of people in there who will probably try to help you the best they can. And if you're going to try out another combat style, I wish you good luck. And I hope that you have a good time trying out a new combat style that maybe you haven't tried out before. If you've enjoyed this video, thank you for watching. Please drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.